Hi everyone, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here. In today's video, I'm gonna go through every Lego idea set that is currently in production. At the timing of this video, there are 15 sets that are underway, five of which are gonna be probably promos or inside of rewards. Now, a few of these will make it out this year. I think there's probably maybe two or three more sets that will be set to come out this year. The rest of the sets will be into 2025 and late 2025, so lots to look forward to. Now the first up we have the reading 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 set this is going to be a promo now this is thought to be coming out in october and uh, this looks quite decent i like this very much uh, reminds me of the leonardo da vinci set that we got last year that was an ideas branded uh, promo so i think this will be exactly the same similar to that it looks really quite charming i do like the look of this um quite cool pictures i don't know how it just will change like all lego idea sets what you see isn't necessarily what you get in the physical um actual retail version or promo version in this case um but i don't think this will go under under, under a huge amount of changes but i do like the look of this as a promo quite cool something quite different so the, the, the leonardo da vinci one was really really good last year so yeah i've got high hopes for this one that'd be quite cool next we have the knowledge is power this was i think will be a promo that will probably be out in 2025 at some point i don't think it'll be inside of rewards it looks a bit too substantial for that uh, it looks like it's supposedly having like three minifigures and various builds this was part of the lego um, stem challenge that they held i think earlier this year i think this looks awesome various um like references to various science and technology i do like the little hubble te space telescope other bits and pieces going on around here there's maybe something to do with maybe something like a space program of some kind i'm not sure but it looks awesome i really do like this I think this I say I think this will more likely be a promo that'll be coming out next year. I think that the designers proposing 528 pieces in this and this looks absolutely awesome. I really do like this. Very clever, very much like a diorama. Very much like the Jules Verne set that we got last month. That has this very very much reminds me of that. There's lots of things going on, lots of references. I, I like this. I think mean, this will be a, a really cool set that we'll probably get next year. Next up we have three sets that are likely to be inside the rewards. It's not quite clear yet. I don't think they'll be promos. It may change, but I've Got what I understand is that the next three sets are going to be inside the rewards. The first of which is the Autumn Snails, which is quite a charming. I quite like this very sweet looking looking set. I think this will go really well with the Lego Ideas Insect Collection. Quite a nice little um, like diorama kind of thing, and um, not too many pieces. I think what uh, 250 pieces exactly. I hope Lego don't change this at all. I think it's quite perfect as it is. Um, I think it's really quite charming, quite colourful, quite bright. Yeah, I think this looks awesome. Next, we have the uh, a, ve a moon car vehicle. This is going to be an insider award. Looks fine. Um, yeah, it looks okay. Not spectacular, but as an insider award, no idea what this will end up costing. I'm going to take a punt, maybe two and a half thousand uh, insider points. I'd say for something like this. Uh, I'm not sure how many pieces are in this. 247 pieces proposed for this. So yeah, quite cool. Um, probably not something I'd want to use my insider points on, but yeah, something different. Something to go on the reward program. It's a little bit light at the moment. So it might be a new addition to that. And the, th and the, and the final, the insider award is thought to be the base uh, micro, micro rail command center. This is really cool. Uh, I, I probably, I, I'd probably spend my insider points on this. I think this looks awesome. Very much pays homage to the monorail that Lego did many, many years ago. That was an awesome set. It will go certainly very well with the micro rocket um, set that they, Lego have done this year. So I think that would go incredibly well with that, if, I, if I'm perfectly honest. does look awesome. I love the like retro look and feel of it. I think this looks really cool. I think this, out of all the Insider Awards um, promo, this is one I'll spend my points on, I feel. Um, 250 pieces and two micro-sized astronauts. Yeah, I, I think that looks awesome. Really, really good. How much Lego changes, I don't know, but I like the look of this. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. Excellent, I really like this. Now moving on to the main sets, the first of which is coming very soon, and it is the Nightmare Before Christmas, which has recently been unveiled. I think this looks awesome. I'm a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan, so for me, this appeals to me greatly. I think it looks fantastic. I see a lot of criticism for this set, uh, mainly for, I think for the price point, from the price point, uh, $200 or £170. I think it depends maybe how much of a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas that you are. That has a, probably a bit of a bearing of how much this set is worth to you. I think with all these licensed IPs, it's going gonna, it's gonna to appeal to some people more than others. If you are a fan of a certain IP, obviously you're, you're going to warm to it a lot more, I feel. Like for me, I'm saying I'm a massive Nightmare Before Christmas fan. So this for me is an easier day one. I don't think the, I don't think the price is too bad. I'm $200, £170. Pounds. For 2,193 pieces, I think it's quite reasonable. Um, if you're not a huge fan, and you're on the fence. Look, if you're on the fence about about it, it's certainly a set you could wait for to get an, an inevitable sale. 
Um, but for me, as a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan, I say it's a day one for me. I love it. I really do like it. Now, it's undergone a lot of changes from the original concept, but that was quite massive, and that, uh, I was really expecting LEGO to recreate that as a one-to-one -one scale. It would have been really expensive. Uh, I think LEGO have done a good job trying to, co trying to balance the cost versus the production set. I think it works. I, I love the moon. I wasn't expecting this piece to actually make it. I was wondering if, how LEGO would do it, but the fact they've included this like disc. I'm not sure if it's, if, it's, if it's one big plastic piece. I'm not quite clear. I think it's a plastic piece. It's not very clear in the picture. I have to wait and see when we get our hands on it. Whether it glows in the dark, I don't know. But I say, for me, I love it. I really do. I say, for me, that's a huge fan. It's a day one. So, but I say, it's not for everyone. If you're not a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, you're probably going to give this a miss. And if you're on the fence about it, you can easily wait for a sale on it. But for me, I'm super excited for this. This is coming out on the 3rd of September for Insider members and then the 6th of, 6th of September for non-members, so very cool. The next set, which is not very far away, is the Disney Magic. Um, I believe this, this is proposed to be coming out in October, so not long to wait for this one. I think this looks awesome. Uh, this obviously, it will not, I don't think this will look anything like this. I think it will undergo quite a lot of changes. Um, this was supposed to celebrate 100 years of Disney um, fairy tales, as you can see here. Not quite sure why this didn't make it out last year, as Disney was celebrating 100 years of Disney uh, in 2023. Um, so it's slipped to this year, not quite sure why the delay, but that's fine. I think like all Lego idea sets, they all, when they get announced, there's always, always a, a long wait for them. I think this is going to be really cool. I'm very excited for this. And it's going to uh, pay homage to the classic Le um, Disney um, films of, of, re of, of the past, including, I think, here's Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, Lion King, Aladdin, Cinderella, Lilo and Stitch, uh, Elsa from Frozen and Pinocchio. So I'm interested to see what the final version of this looks like. Uh, Disney sets can be a bit of a hit and miss. Some, some are better than others, uh, but this we really could appeal. I really did like the Disney um, Icon Villain set from last year. That was awesome. That was really, really good. And the Disney camera was pretty awesome. But this, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know how many pieces I've proposed for this. I don't think it actually says... Uh, no idea what kind of price point to expect from this. I expect Mickey, Mickey Mouse to be the centerpiece of this set, but yeah, I, I eagerly wait for this uh, to be unveiled. Should see it probably sometime in September. This will get unveiled. I expect should be really really cool. Now one more set I think that's going to make it this year is the Botanical Garden. I think this is proposed to come out in November. I think this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure it's something I'd want to rush out and buy on day one. I think from what I understand, it is actually going to be a full modular size set. So that should be, should be pretty cool. So this is probably a rare opportunity to get a, a modular um, type set. I'll be interested to see what the, the final design for this looks like. Because it's not something probably I'd want to rush out and buy on day one. I think it really is going to be depending on the price for this. Uh, I'm not sure how many pieces the designers are um, proposing for this. Uh, 3,000 pieces. That could be expensive. I imagine Lego might downscale this quite a lot, quite significantly. I mean, if it looks like exactly, exactly like this, this will be really cool. Very much reminds me of something like Kew Gardens in London. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what this one looks like. But I think, yeah, this one's is expected to make it out in November. I think it probably will be the last set for 2024 and the rest of the sets in this video will be in 2025 so yeah really cool the next set i, th I expect to make it uh, in probably in january maybe maybe february is the twilight cullen house um i'm not a huge fan of the twilight fan the films i've never seen them so it doesn't the, the license doesn't appeal to me at all but i'm interested in more maybe architecturally to see what this set what the design what uh, lego do with this set the ip doesn't really bother me whether it's tw twilight that doesn't put me off in any in any way whatsoever the Hocus Pocus set that came out last year. I'm not a. I'm not. A, I've never seen Hocus Pocus, um, but that didn't stop me enjoying and appreciating the set from an architectural point of view. And I think this might be the same with the Twilight set, but it depends on how much it costs and what the final design looks like. I hope Lego maybe brighten it up a little bit. It does feel a little bit dark and and dank. Uh, maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Yes, I've never seen Twilight, so maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, I expect Lego maybe to fill out the interior a little bit. It does look a little bit sparse inside, although it might be slimmed down quite a bit, I think, from this. This will be quite expensive to, to, as a production set. Um, I'm not sure how many pieces the designers proposed for this. Uh, where does it I'm not sure if it says how many pieces. Uh, all the minifigures probably will make it. So, yeah, 3,000 pieces you can see down here. Yeah, 3,000 pieces, yeah. I think this will be... A, I think this might undergo quite a lot of drastic changes and uh, to make it uh, a, re a viable retail set. But as I say, it depends on, on how much it costs. For me, it's probably something I could easily wait for a sale on and say I'm not a Twilight fan. Much like the Nightmare Before Christmas set, 
If you're a fan of Twilight, you're probably buying it on day one, like me with Nightmare Before Christmas. But as a license set, uh, this will carry a little extra um, price point, same as Nightmare Before Christmas. So yeah, it should be inter interesting to see what they're going to do with it. And um, moving on, we have the minifigure prize machine. Uh, I think this will be coming out. I, I'll say maybe maybe April, maybe May. Uh, this should be quite cool. Um, not something I thought I I, I particularly need. Uh, I'm not I'm not ex I'm not exactly ecstatic for this set. Um, should be interesting to see what they're going to do with it. I think they might spruce it up a little bit. But I think this is one of those idea sets that won't cost a huge amount of money. I wouldn't have thought much like the Red London telephone box. This be, could be quite a nice budget-friendly set, um, depending on how many pieces this make this one um, ends up having. I don't, I don't think the designer says how many pieces are actually in this. Doesn't quite say, I don't think. Um, but the mini vehicles could be quite cool. I don't think all these licensed sets will make it. You never know. Maybe they might dip into Lego's own IP to include minifigures. Um, should have a bit of functionality to it, so I, I expect to see that make it in terms of the little um, capsules and the minifigures popping out in the little capsules with a little um, twist and lever. I don't know, I'd be interested to see, say, what Lego do with it. I can, think, I can see them sprucing it up a little bit, uh, but we'll have to wait and see on this one. I, I, I don't think it's probably hugely expensive to put into market. As long as Lego stay away from any license, there's it's no reason for this to be above $100, $100. Pounds. Yeah, interested. Now, one set I am super excited for that I think was, is, under, is going to undergo a lot of changes, sadly, is the Western River Steamboat. This looks awesome. I mean, this looks just fantastic now of all the sets that are currently in production i expect this one is, is the one that's going to be scaled back the most i mean this is in it this looks absolutely massive uh, it's just ginormous and uh, i don't see lego putting this kind of set into production unfortunately personally i would love it as, exactly as it is you don't lego don't do many um boats uh, and this one is just stunning it really really is so much attention to detail it looks like a, it looks like an old uh, like like plastic model like airfix kind of thing uh, this looks just yeah beautiful set really really cool very charming i'm not sure how many pieces this is proposed to have uh, but i mean the design of it's massive 30 centimeters long um 17 uh, i think that's inches 13 inches long 17 inches tall i'm not quite sure what that translates into centimeters but massive i think from this from that from the sounds of it yeah i think this one will go undergo quite a few changes to make it into retail sadly but I'll be interested to see what they could do with it. I, I, I really don't want to change it that drastically because I think it looks very beautiful. I can easily see this on my shelf. Uh, looks very classy. Obviously similar to, not, not, not the same sort of scale, but to Titanic, it will go well next to that, I feel. Um, but this is, yeah, I think this is going to be scaled back quite drastically. Next up, we have the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Here we go again set. Now, I did think, now I initially thought when I saw this unveiled, I thought this was going to be based on the Gene, Gene Wilder film. Uh, but as someone said in, in one of the comments, that it might actually be based on the Johnny Depp Tim Burton version. Look at the minifigures close up. Although these are only the proposed minifigures, whether these ones actually make it into the full design, who knows, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but looking at it more closely, it might well actually be the Tim Burton version rather than the, than the Gene Wilder. Which is a bit of a shame because I, I love that version. I've never seen the Tim Burton one. Uh, the Gene Wilder film is probably one of my favourite films of all time. Uh, it's a classic film, really, really cool, aged very well. I just adore that film, very charming. But this as a set looks awesome. Uh, it would be interesting to see if the Oompa Loompas make it. Oh, there's a lot of controversy around that these days. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I hope they make it. They are part of, of, of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. They should really be included. But whether Lego go down that route, I don't know. I don't know whether all these minifigures will make it. They should really do. The children, uh, they're iconic. You have to have the Oompa Loompas and Willy Wonka and all the children. These all really have to be included for me. Um, it'd be interesting to see what they could do with it. Obviously, whether the chocolate, whether the working uh, like uh, chocolate fountain makes it. Cause I think it is, um, can be motorised, not out of the box. I think what from the designer says, um, but I think that's like an add-on extra. So whether this makes the fun, whether this functionality makes it into the final retail version, we we'll have to wait and see. But looking at it, I don't think they're going to need to change it too much. Um, maybe the amount of pieces in it to make it uh, a viable retail, a viable retail set. I don't know. But I like it. Uh, so I love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So for me, this appeals. Again, as a licensed set, it's probably not going to appeal to everyone. Um, at, least not, at least not on day one. I imagine people will be waiting for a sale on this whenever it comes out. I imagine this will be next summer at some point, maybe, at the earliest. It's going to be a long wait for this. Yeah, next summer would be my guess for this. But certainly a set I'm looking forward to. I'm quite interested to see what Lego do with it. Now, one set that I'm super excited and looking forward to is the Italian Riviera. I think this looks absolutely stunning. I think this is awesome. I'm so thrilled this has made it. I didn't think it would. When I saw it, it'd been a, it was in a, under the review process. I didn't think this was something Lego would actually go for. 
but I'm absolutely thrilled that they have. Um, from our, an architecture point of view, it looks just beautiful. Uh, much like the steamboat, I hope Lego don't change this at all. I think it's quite perfect. Um, I don't think they're going to need to change a single thing for this for me. Um, but I imagine like all Lego idea sets, they probably will sadly. But it, the, the feel of the set, the colour scheme, I say the architecture, it looks like, very much like, like a, a, a really does capture the look, the look and feel of the Italian Riviera. I think it's awesome. I love the little interiors of the shops, the gelato ice cream shop, the fish um, stall. And I believe that on the right hand side uh, here is a florist. Um, and, and they have like two floors each, uh, the little beach section, the little canoe, loads of minifigures. Yeah, this looks absolutely awesome. I'm uh, so excited for this. I think this is going to be late in, late to, uh, I don't think we're going to see this for a long time, maybe late summer maybe, maybe September time. This one might be around. Um, I'm interested to see what they're going to do with it. I don't want them to change it at all. It, it is really quite... It's quite perfect, uh, much like the steamboat, but the steamboat will probably, like, for obvious reasons, just for a size point, if you want to go a lot of changes. But this one, I don't know. Uh, it could be one that Lego may just do it as is. I'm not sure how many pieces are proposed for this. I don't think the design designer quite says. Uh, it's not quite clear. Oh, 2,900 pieces. <sighs> I don't know. Um, it's a lot of pieces. It, it, I, Lego may go for it as, as it is, but I, have to, I don't know. My gut feel is, is sadly is that Lego will change a lot of it, but hope the look and feel will stay as it is, because I think I say I keep saying it, it is quite perfect. So yeah, this is really exciting. And the final two sets are ones that have just been recently announced, and they are two sets based on 80s IPs that Lego ran a challenge for earlier this year. The first of which is a buildable gizmo from the Gremlins film. I'm not I'm a huge a huge fan of the Gremlins film. I've seen it a few times, I think in the 90s, but it's not a film I'm overly familiar with. It never really clicked for me when I've seen it. So it's not something I've, I've seen it for a very, very long time. But I'm very familiar with what Gizmo is. It's pretty much a, one of the iconic characters from the 80s. It's just a, a film that I've never really got into. Um, but it looks good as a buildable figure. It looks fine. I imagine this won't be too expensive, I wouldn't have thought. Very much like the Stitch that they Lego done with in from the Disney films. It looks very familiar to that in a, in a, in a sort of funny sort of way. So it looks like quite cool. Hopefully this won't be too expensive. But the final set that I'm super excited for is the one based on the Goonies. This is awesome. I cannot wait for this. This is fantastic. I'm so happy this one got chosen. Absolutely outstanding looking set. I think what the designer has done for this is amazing. This whole idea of the part of the pirate ship on one side and then turn around and reveal all the various scenes from the films in the underground caverns. This is incredible, really, really good. Now, I do expect this to undergo quite a few drastic changes. I don't think it will be as large and as big as this when it comes to the final retail version. I mean, looking at this, this would be incredibly expensive for Lego to put into market, but you never know. Maybe they will go ambitious with it and make it as big and as detailed as possible. The Dungeons and Dragons set that didn't go through too many changes. That was very similar to the actual concept. So my hope that it is very similar, but my gut feel is looking at it from here, there's a lot of pieces in here. I don't think Lego would be able to make this um, for a reasonable price, but I think it's going to be a super popular set, so it will certainly sell, I feel. The Goonies is a very, very popular film. Both me and my wife absolutely adore it. Um, fantastic film, really, really good. It hasn't aged at all. It is the perfect 80s film, really. It really is great. I love these four different sections. I hope Lego stick with it and keep it as similar as they can. Just maybe downscale it a little bit, I feel. I mean, I'd love it as, as it is. I'd, I'd happily pay good money for a complete recreation of this, but I don't think Lego... I don't, I, my gut feel Lego won't do that. I think they will slim it down quite a bit. But if they keep the look and feel of the set, I'll be very happy. And all the mini, all the minifigures, of course, do have to be present and correct that these all are all essential. So I'll be happy if all this makes it. So I have to wait and see. This one's going to... And the Gizmo one is going to be a very long way off. I wouldn't expect to see either of these until late 2025. Uh, but yeah, the Goonies one is super, is super exciting. So there we go. That is all the Lego idea sets that are currently in production. Some really good sets in here. There's some, some ones I'm really looking forward to. Uh, not more before Christmas. There's only a few weeks away. I can't wait for the Disney 100. Uh, the Disney 100. Whatever that turns out to be, that would be quite cool. Uh, the Italian Riviera, the Steamboat. Those are my favourites. And of course, the Goonies. This, yeah, this might trump every single one because this is just absolutely awesome. So let me know in the comments which, which of these idea sets are you most looking forward to. Can I please ask leave a like? And if you enjoyed today's video, I'm very grateful if you consider subscribe today. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.